So now we will see how to upload an app into the store. This is the app which is developed by <clears throat> your classmates Gopi Krishna, Manoj Kumar and Pranit. So now I will, I will show you the final procedure, how to prepare the app for uploading into the store. First thing you see an option here, package.app manifest. Okay, double click on that particular package.app manifest. Now, <clears throat> if you want to change any content, don't change the display name. Don't change the display name. Uh, if you want to change the description, you can change the description. And here there are four options now. You have to click all the four options. Click all the four options. Next, come down and see whether anything is there. So nothing, no need any modifications. Next one. So what is the thing which you are going to change here? Either you can change the description and you have to click all these four options. Next, I'll come back to the visual assets later. <clears throat> now go to the capabilities. So this is a loan calculator app where I don't need any sort of input. So what I have to do is remove this internet client because if you are keeping this internet means you have to give the privacy policy. We are not going to store any sort of data of the client. So remove that internet client. So nothing is selected. So go to the declarations. Here also you no need to declare anything. Next go to the content URL. Here also no need to um, <clears throat> give anything. And finally the packaging. Don't modify anything over here. The certificates and all, once I create the packages, automatically the certificates will get created. I will show it also to you. So show it to you. Next, finally, come back to the visual assets. So in order to get our app certified, we need to enter minimum apps, minimum images actually. So for that, what I have done is, so I have opened the Google and I have uh, typed as a uh, loan calculator. I have typed loan calculator and I have found a lot of images over here. I selected the images and I have found a lot of images. So what I did is I have selected this image. Okay. And now um, and we, uh, I will convert this image to different images and I will upload it to the app. Okay. Uh, while selecting the images, we have to be more cautious because if you are selecting a copyrighted image means obviously you will land into a problem. So don't select any copyrighted images. Okay. <coughs> so don't copy any copyrighted images. So now I am closing it. I'll get back to the screen later. So what I have to do is I have uh, copied the image onto the desktop. Now I am opening my desktop and I will open this particular image. <clears throat> so this is the image which I have copied. What I am doing is simply I am closing it and I am opening it in paint. Open with paint. Now my image is opened in paint. Why I opened this particular image in paint is I show you that also. See here, there are in the visual assets, there are different sizes of the image which, which we have to upload. For example, see here, 284 into 284, 142 into 142, 71 into 71, 107 into 107, 107 89 into 89. Like the different types of uh, image sizes are there. You scroll down and you see here, one image is uploaded. What is that image? Square 150 into 150 logo dot PNG. So, what is the size of this? 300 into 300 pixel. Now, what I am going to do is, I am opening the paint and I am clicking on the resize button and I am selecting the pixels option. Remove this maintain aspect ratio. Then I am giving the size as 300 into 300. If I click OK, my image size is reduced to 300 into 300 pixels. What I will do is I will save this image as PNG. You can save it as JPG also and I will take a desktop and I will rename it as 300. For my understanding only, I have given that particular name. Okay. Next, again scroll down. See, one more image is necessary. What is this image size? 620 into 300. Again, I will open my uh, paint and again I'll click on the resize pixels. Remove remainder aspect ratio 620 into 300. <coughs> See, in the paint, actually, we can do it very, very 
easily. So 620 into 300, again, I'm going to file, save as PNG. Now I'll rename it as 620. Finish. Again, the same procedure, I'm searching for, here again, one is there, 88 into 88 pixels. Now what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to resize pixels. Now 88 into 88. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry for it. <clears throat> so again, I'll give it as 88. So now I have my three images. Another one image should be there. See here, 24 into 24. Now I'll open this resize pixels. I'll give 24. So this is my 24 into 24 image. So now I have renamed as 24. I'll see whether any more images are required. <clears throat> and the image also there, that is 50 into 50. Now, well, again, I'll go for this and I'll go for 50 into 50. So it is not coming it clearly. So what I will do is I will close this. Again, I will open the original image so that it will maintain the clarity. So resize pixels fifty into fifty. Now the clarity is there, so I will save as PNG picture. Now I'll rename as fifty. Now, <clears throat> so all the images are ready, and now what I have to do? I have to simply add those images to this particular app. Now see here, assets option is there. You click right click on this particular assets option and go to add option and click existing item. And I have saved all my images on the desktop only. So what I am doing is simply I will take the desktop option. Where are my images? Here are my images. 24, 50, 88, 300, 620. I have selected all those and I have clicked on Add. See, all my images are added in the assets. From the assets, now what I will do is, I will add those images <clears throat> in this. I don't want to change the format, so what I am doing is, so, see here. <clears throat> what I have done, simply I have changed the name. The image also is changed. Next, the next image. You have to be very careful while changing this. So if you are giving the wrong image means that obviously, again, it will land into another problem. So 620, I have uploaded. Next one is 88. So 88 also I have uploaded. Next one is 15 to 50. Okay, 50 is there. This 24 into 24, it is not, I'm not asking now, so I'm not uploading that particular thing. So now I don't have any errors. All my emails are uploaded. If there is any error, it will show you there. It will show you a cross mark in red. So everything is fine. Now what I have to do is, I am now opening the my developer account, okay? So from this developer account, I'm going to click on this particular new product and I'm selecting the app. Now we have to give the app name. <clears throat> See, I have taken the app name as loan calculator. I have put a dot over here. Why means simply if you are typing loan calculator means obviously someone has, uh, someone may already have uploaded uh, that name. Even dot is also there. Loan calculators dot, maybe we'll check it. You can check for it, yes. Uh, loan calculators dot, it is there. So what I have to do is I have to click on the reserve product name. So it will take some time. 
<coughs> our uh, app name will be reserved so now my app name is reserved so what i can do i can click on start submission i will complete some procedure over there then i will go back to the visual studio and again i will show you how to create the app package so now click on the pricing and availability <coughs> So what I'm going to do is I'll keep uh, this app as a free. So any audience has selected all the markets, no need, no problem. We can select all the markets. So I'm telling them to keep it in Microsoft store. So when to release as soon as possible. So I'm um, asking them not to stop anywhere. And I'm making this as free. Okay, so simply I'm making as free and I'm clicking on save draft. Eight steps will be there here. We have to fill each and every step individually. So my step number one is complete. See here, it is telling it as complete. Next, I'm going to the properties. First three steps can be easily completed. I'm picking a category so personal finance as it is a loan a loan app no i have clicked the personal finance category and uh, so i'll take the first one banking plus investments so what they are asking is if you are you are you giving a <clears throat> so if you take any person's information then you have to give a privacy policy. Now we are not giving any privacy policy. So no need of that. This also no need to select anything you please. Okay, here alternate days are removed days. Will happen. Nothing will happen if you are giving alternate price. No, this is not required. This is not a game, so I have removed those particular things. This product has been made, tested to meet accessible guidelines. <clears throat> no, I know the. I don't want these anything. My app will work fine, so I'm not uh, giving any options over there. Simply click on the save button. <clears throat> So step number two is completed. Next for each and every app, we have to take the app ratings compulsorily and click on the app ratings. So now they will ask you some, this is not a game. This is not a social or communication thing. So click on all other types. And they will ask you some questions. Does your app contain any ratings relevant? No. Does your app natively allows you to interact? No. Online content? No. Promotion of sales? No. Does your app shares user contents? No. Do you allow purchase digital goods? No. Browse search engine? No. News or educational product? No. So simply click on save and generate. So these are the ratings which have been generated. So for some countries, rating is mandatory. If rating is there only, they will allow your app in those countries. That's why we have given all the ratings. So based on our app, you have to select the ratings. Now that uh, first three steps are completed, next is the final phase. Before going to the final phase, what we have to do is, we have to open the Visual Studio and go to this project option. Go to this project option. From there, go to publish option. From publish option, go to create app packages. Click on that. Okay. So select this Microsoft Store under a new app name. Click select. So account is not there. So I will add the account first.
I forgot the name, I think. Okay, please give me one minute. I have to check the name. Please give me one minute. Okay, let me do the same thing again. Go to create app packages, Microsoft store, next. So select an account, go for another account. So it will ask you for a password. This is the developer account. Yeah. <clears throat> Let it take the developer account. It will check. No, now the developer account is open. So click on the app name. What is the app name which we have given? Loan. Yes, this is the app name, loan, loan calculator. Click on next. So now select all the um, um, processors over here, or you can select any one processor, no issue, and click create. Just I'll take five more minutes. So now your project will get, your package will get created. Once the package is created, automatically we can have, uh, upload that particular packet packages into the um, store. I'll show you that also. See here, the processing is going on. The logo, some thing is there. So it is stopping us to create the app. We have to rectify this. Okay, I'll explain the procedure and I'll again get back to this. I'll rectify all those four errors. So next after that, see here, the packages which are available there. So where the package will be means, go to the desktop. So wherever your uh, loan app is there, There is this loan app, uh, loan calculator is there, no? In this particular thing here. So in the property, in the properties here, you will find your uh, uh, packages. So from here, you can simply click on this and you can upload those packages here. And after that, it will select whatever the package you have done. It will select these particular options and you can click on save. Now nothing I have given now, so it will show, as a, show it as a pending only. And after that, it will ask you, to give the properties, means you have to describe what is the app which you are using. So, because it will not submit now, the, our procedure is pending. See here, it is showing it as incomplete. So we have to describe the app, what app you have doing and uh, how it is useful. You have to write down in a few points and after that, uh, simply click on save and directly you can uh, give your contact details. It will ask you for you to give the email ID. So yeah, you can give the email ID and after that you can click on the submit button so that it will be transferred to the Microsoft and they will validate it in seven steps and they will let you know whether your app is completed or not, okay? So this is the procedure, how to upload an app into the store. So now all the errors are rectified and I have created the packages also. So where to see the packages means open the folder, see a loan calculator app I have opened and in this click on this particular loan calculator app and click on the app packages and see here the package is created. 
so 34 2022 at 5 dpm the package is uh, created now what we have to do is take this package okay so we are in the fifth uh, step where we are going to upload our package now what you have to do is either you can drag and drop your packet or you can select the file okay anything you can do <clears throat> See, my package is getting uploaded. Once it is, okay, multiple times it got uploaded, I'll cancel one. So once the package is uploaded, automatically these particular things will be selected. Now it is validating the package which is being already uploaded. Once it is validated, it will find out for which operating system you are going to uh, upload the app. And it will tell you the device family availability, whether your app is available for Windows 10 or 11 or 8 or 8.1 like that it will tell you. So actually it is saying that it is taking a lot of time to upload. So it is asking to refresh the full page as the page is idle till now. So it is asking to refresh the page. So I have refreshed it now and again I will go to the package screen and again I will try to uh, upload the package. I will try now I will click the retry. Oh, sorry, it is already uploaded. <coughs> so it says that my app works in the Windows 10 or above packages. So I have multi applied two more. I have uploaded two packages. No, that's why it is saying an error. Again, it is showing as error only. We'll see it again. I'll do one thing, I'll delete it and again I'll upload. Okay. So now it should work fine because I have deleted two, I have uploaded two different packages and now I have deleted one package. Now this step, this step should be completed. Yes, finish. Now the package is also uploaded. Next, the final stage in the store list is click the English, English United States option and a screen will be displayed where you have to give your uh, uh, description of your app. So this app is used to find the total interest of the Total interest of the borrowed app. We have to give the have to give the inputs like amount borrowed, comma amount borrowed, how many months. and rate of interest. It will display the total interest occurred. So I have given the description of the app. Next, you have to take the screenshot of the app and you have to upload it over here. So screenshot means you have to run your app actually. So you have to run your app and <clears throat> we have to wait till the app gets run. After that, we have to take the screenshot and you have to upload it over there. 
So I will show the procedure for that also. Now the deployment is started. Okay, now the app was open. So maybe we have to adjust the screen size actually. So we'll adjust no problem and open the paint. So and give your screen size and save this particular screenshot. So I have saved it and now I'll see what is the size of the screenshot. The size of the screenshot is 1366 into 768 pixels. Now again, I will open the paint and I'll resize it. Okay, the size is exactly perfect. So no need to open it again. And now I will upload the same screenshot over here. So click on the desktop. Go to the top. So I have uploaded the screenshot. No need to upload all these logos and all. If you want, you can apply. That is an optional part. These and all, if you want to upload, you can upload. Otherwise, no need. Supplementary fields also, there is no need to enter the supplementary fields. For example, if you want to enter the, so if someone want to contact you, you have to give your uh, email ID. So what I'm going to give is, So I give the same uh, contact account of the delivery um, developer account. Next, the search terms. So I can add many search terms like this, loan uh, calculator, because if you search with these keywords, then automatically this will get open. So it's enough. Now at the copyright, you have to give copyright at the rate the developers, Gopi Krishna. A. Manoj Kumar. J. Pranit. Okay, these are the developers of this particular app. So I have given uh, copyright to them only. And again, I want to copy the same. Now the app is developed by means I will write down his register number also. My 19 CS 1231. Next one is my 19 CS 1204. Mr. J. Pranit. My 19 CS 1262. Okay, click on the save. So they can see their names in the app once it is published. <clears throat> so now everything is okay. Now my app is uh, ready for submission. Okay, submission options, there is no need to open uh, any, give any submission options, simply open it and uh, click is at save. Now click on the submit to store but why i am not clicking is so i have to adjust the screen sizes for this app so so this is the procedure once you submit it to the store uh, automatically three steps will be done by the system uh, and rest of the four steps will be done by the uh, microsoft authorities so after passing the seven step verification then your app will be in the store this may take up to five 
days of time so we have to wait sometimes it may it will be accepted within hours only so we have to wait till it gets completed so this is the procedure how to upload the app into the store